All right, well today I'm tying a fly straight out of Mr. Mike Weaver's book, Pursuit of Wild Trout. And uh, this is what I learned as being a neff caddis. Whereas these days you just call it a deer hair sedge, but uh, for me it was a neff caddis. And this little fly must have caught me hundreds, if not thousands of trout since that book was first released back in 1991. So I'm using a size 16 Hannock 130BL barber's hook. And for the thread, this is a 80 Uni in Camel. You don't really want to be using these new super fine threads for this because you'll just cut straight through the, the deer hair when you try and tie it in. Wax on. My memory is a bit hazy, but I think we were using deer hair sedges before that book came out, but they always had a hackle on. So this was the first time I'd seen it tied, you know, without a, a cock hackle at the front. And um, you started to get the idea, or I did as a youngster, about how flies should sit differently in the film. So obviously some emerges, um, half the body sits underneath the surface. This tends to lie totally flat. You've got spinners, of course, they lie flat in the surface. So it was the first time I started getting away from the fact that all dry flies had to be, you know, cocked up on their hackles. Right, this is a little bit of um, Partridge SLF and it's in an insect green, I think. I'm putting a little green butt onto the fly. You don't have to do this, but this was in the book, so I'll do it. It's strange how you can tie flies up without this on, and then when you open the fly box, you always pick the one out with a little green butt on. I don't know why that should be. Right, the original body was hairs here. Um, I've got various things I use now. This is a, a possum or some of the, the beaver dubbing is really nice. This is a natural done beaver dubbing. You can ring the changes with the body colour depending on what local caddis you've got on your stream. Anyway, we'll stick with the original bit of, deer, um, bit of hairs here for this one. that nice messy appearance okay so now we have choices you can if you want to take the silk up put some more dubbing on and come back and tie the deer hair in or again I'm going to do the original pattern which is literally we just put the deer hair wing in and then make a tiny little muddler head at the front uh, again more choices this was the original deer hair I used to use it's quite dark I'm running out of it a bit now. So for this fly, I'm going to use this lighter deer hair, which is sold as X Caddis. Very nice deer hair to work with for these sorts of flies. I just chopped a, a lump off there. And I will comb the, the fibres out, but you don't really get a lot of fluff in this X caddis. Okay, and now I'm going to stack it in the stacker. Off 
off it up to get the length we want. Cut it off about there. Right, wax on the thread. We want this to try and stay where it is. Up and over a couple of times and then pull it down tight and just run through these fibers. Making that nice little muddler head. We can tidy this up a bit afterwards if we need to. I'm just going to whip finish in there rather than trying to get to the eye. fibers off from underneath so that it sits flat in the surface. Okay, that's pretty much it then. Excellent fly to use early on in the evening before the blooming olives start to hatch or the spinners start to come down, especially through the fast water uh, and a great pattern for up on the moors as well in the fast streaming uh, plunge pools if you like up there. Right, as always I hope that's helped and uh, I'll see you again on the next one.